it's Thursday. Christina, thank you for filling in for me on Tuesday. Your hair is amazing and your zombie plan is pretty good. Christina was very right when she said that I take zombie plans very seriously. And I decided that because I live in the middle of nowhere, if you didn't know, I think I'm pretty safe in case of a zombie apocalypse. I think I'm going to be one of the last ones, or at least it's going to take a while until the zombies get to where I live. So I decided that in this video I'm going to tell you all how to make a really good zombie plan because you live in towns and cities all over the world. So um, if you have good zombie plans then there's more chance of all of us surviving and then we can party it up afterwards. So there's generally four key points to a good zombie plan. You have location, team, weapon of choice and plan of action. So we're going to start with team. team. Now you don't want too many people in your zombie team because the more you have the harder it's going to be to keep track of them all and you know that eventually you're going to have to rank them in order of favouritism and you're going to have to sacrifice someone. So the less people you have the better. So here's a rough court that you can kind of chop and change to meet your personal needs. But um, you have your significant other half. You have your best friends in the whole world and you have your um, mentally and or physically strong older siblings. Um, I know you're thinking about your parents but see Christina, the problem I have with your zombie shelter is I think your zombie shelter would be put to really good use if we put our parents on it because you know your parents aren't as physically and just they're just not as fast and capable of fighting as we are so I think that if our parents were in a nice safe place where we knew they'd be okay we could all go and fight the zombies for them. So now we're going to move on to location. The thing about location is you want somewhere big so that you've loads of space because there's going to be lots going on. You want somewhere that is internet access, you want somewhere that is food and water and entertainment because you could be there for a while, you never know. So I've come up with four key locations that you can probably find pretty close to your house. We have the cinema, we have the airport, the theme park and the shopping centre. I think my personal preference would be theme park but there's not one of those pretty close to my house. But you know you could travel I guess when the bus drivers get zombified you could just steal a bus or something. Say so think about your location now. Location is key. Maybe go and visit it and look around and see where the best hiding spots would be and stuff like that. And yeah. Moving on to the final two. We've weapon of choice and plan of action. These kind of more depend on personal preferences and they also depend on your location. I'm usually a pacifist but I say in case of zombie apocalypse go crazy with your weapon of choice. I mean if you think about it all the businesses and shops that will be just abandoned and you can just go and get whatever kind of weapon you want. If you live in America, I mean your options are pretty much endless. Um, maybe you could be more creative if you're at the theme park say, that big like hammer thing that checks how strong you are. Do you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. I've never seen one in real life. Maybe they just exist in cartoons. I don't know. And then you have your plan of action and you need to figure out what your role within your team is going to be because if you're the leader obviously you're going to have to fight but you may be one of these people who just decide to sit back and wait for the whole thing to blow over. So um, you have to decide. Again plan of action very dependent on your location. If you're in the cinema you could watch every zombie movie that has ever been made and get some tips on you know the best tactics and stuff and that would be really cool. If you're in a theme park, chances are there's going to be no staff and nobody to charge you to go on the rides. So you should probably just have fun and go on the roller coasters if it's going to be the last few hours or days of your life. You know, just have a good time generally. And if you're in an airport, you could protect your whole country's security really by vetting people who are coming in off planes, if the planes are still flying. So these were just some ideas. I hope they've started you on your way to forming a good solid zombie plan. If you've any um, other ideas leave them in the comments. Any kind of creative weapon suggestions because that's the thing which is kind of hard to come up with. And I think the official zombie apocalypse survivor party is going to be held at the White House in Washington. So I will see you all there. Bye!